if you just came from my other video, thank you very much. I'm fixing to install this Force GT SATA 3 480 gigabyte SSD inside this ASUS G74 SX. First thing I'm gonna do is shut it down, of course, find my screwdriver, and then grab my restore disks. Freshly made restore disks. Man, those vents are sexy. That power brick is massive. This is awesome. All you gotta do is unscrew this. And that pops off. This is all we care about at the moment. We need to get those two hard drives out of there. After I'm done with this and I have Windows installed, I'm going to put the hard drive back in there. Okay, this lifts up, and then you can pull that out of there. Neato, that's awesome. There's the drive that comes with it. I'm not sure which one is the actual boot one and which one's storing my data at the moment, so that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and take both of them out. Oh, neat, this is the, okay, I could just probably keep this one in here and not hook this one up, but I'm gonna go ahead and find out for sure. This is where we find out. Awesome, I was correct. You can actually leave that in there, but not connect it, which is exactly what I'm fixing to do. So this is probably the drive with the data on it. I have one drive where I have Windows and my programs and stuff, and I have the other one with all the huge files. If you hear the background noise, it's because my daughter's just gonna turn five in a couple days and she's freaking out, which is perfectly understandable. It's not a bad thing. You're gonna notice that the screws are on top, and a lot of times I've seen them on the side. There are holes on the side of both of these drives. This is the first one I've actually seen where it's on top. Oh, I need a real screwdriver. All right, here's a better screwdriver. Now hopefully I'm assuming correctly, and this is the actual boot drive. Since I can only add two, and this one only has files I'm storing, like videos, stuff that's really, really big, this will just get put up somewhere in case I ever need to take this and put it inside another computer. We're gonna match the way this goes in. That's perfect, right there. So this will go on top like this. Now one thing I'm not for certain is that this G74SX is SATA 3. If it's not, I'm only gonna get SATA 2 speeds out of this thing. Similar to why you didn't see the best results from that pluggable thing. Now I'm assuming all this, so don't quote me. Put it in like this, and it should slide in, nice and connected, and then just put these four screws back in there. This is pretty neat, I've never seen anything like this before. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it disconnected for now until I can figure out if this is the drive that the computer boots from at the moment or if this one is. So this one's disabled. The BIOS should only detect that one drive. And I really should have taken the battery out, so that was a fail on my part. I'm not gonna get it focused perfectly until I get this turned on. As soon as it boots, I need to press the button that gets it into the BIOS, which is escape, maybe? No, that chooses what to boot from. Corsair Force GT, and then there's the actual DVD drive. Boot is the Corsair. I'm gonna go ahead and move this up. There we go. Now the boot drive is this DVD drive, and it's only seeing the one hard drive in there. Everything should look good, so we're gonna exit and save changes. All right, you probably weren't seeing a lot of that, but under the SATA configuration, you have AHCI and IDE. Do not put it on IDE. It's detecting the Corsair 480 gigabyte hard drive, and then that drive we disabled is actually disabled. I'm gonna go ahead over here to save and exit, but before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and put the disk in the drive. We have set the disk drive to be the boot drive. So I'm gonna put the restore disk in, and then save and exit. It should boot from the disk, which it sounds like it is. 
awesome. This process is going to take a minute. It shouldn't take as long as it would with the standard hard drive, but will take a good minute. It finished loading all the files. Yes. Yes. That's a screen I've never seen before. Ooh, now the hard drive light's going crazy. Ta-da. Ta-da. Ta-da-da-da-da-da. I don't imagine this being a very long process. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. All right, obviously this is going to be a very long video. 1%? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut it. This seems like a good enough time of any to start this video <laughs> where I left off at because we're almost done. It's just using the hard drive at this point. It kept asking me to put in the second disc, put in the third disc, and now it sounds like it's ejecting it. Yay! Took a total of 33 minutes and 20 seconds. Very, very, very first boot. The Recover Wizard only works with the Seuss notebooks. It will not work with any other computer system. I really don't know which one to choose. It wants me to choose a partition. Considering this thing has two hard drive slots, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the entire hard drive. Because if I really need to store any large files, I'll put them on the second hard drive, or I'll put them on the USB 3.0 hard drive bay. Man, it's doing some stuff I ain't never seen before. It says two minutes remaining. I wonder how fast that would have taken with the standard hard drive. I've never restored this completely. I bought this from Best Buy and pretty much just used it. I have never restored it using recovery discs. I've never done this before, but this seems pretty darn fast. <laughs> this almost doesn't require me speeding up the video at all. I wonder if this is going to be the real first boot. Starting Windows. Sure looks like it. I don't know, is this gonna be the first row boot? No. Oh, it's gonna have that Best Buy junk on it. That's gonna have to get cleared off there. Oh my goodness, how many freaking reboots? Is this it, right here? Is this it? Somebody start a countdown timer. Oh, oh my god, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of freaking space on my 16 GSD card once again. I wish I had done this with a normal 7200 RPM hard drive, because I have no clue if this is like super fast or what. Once again, rebooting, yay! So excited! Okay, now I'm wondering if it's supposed to be doing all this. Okay, I was just about to see if I could do some reading, and now it's actually saying installing drivers. So maybe all like 37 of those reboots are for a reason. I was starting to think maybe I had a wrong setting in the BIOS. This has to be the easiest restore process I've ever seen. It's probably rebooted, honestly, about 16, 17 times. And this is the first reboot where the desktop's actually showing up at 1920 by 1080. So these reboots are actually doing something. For a second, I just thought it was stuck, like kind of like in an Android boot loop. And I can tell you, each time it starts up, it just takes like seconds. I mean, mere seconds. It's freaking great. I can't wait to use this. Right now, there's absolutely nothing spinning in this thing. See? Some driver. Uh, all right now, there's absolutely nothing spinning in it except the fan. And this thing has two fans. It has a fan for the GPU and a fan for the CPU. So the hard drive itself is not moving since it's a SSD. Now, when I hook the other hard drive up, there's going to be one spinning whenever it's accessing it. This is insane. Each time this happens, it's just like... <laughs> I know like the more applications you install, the longer it takes, but... There's a program called Saluto. It's available on File Hippo, and it lets you choose which things you want to start up. And you can have some uh, either get delayed, where it waits till your system is calm, and then it does it. Or they got one where it just disables it, period. <laughs> wow. Okay, when it's finally done rebooting, I'll go ahead and come back to this.
We're probably about, honestly, 27 reboots into this thing, and I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to do a damn thing. It just keeps on going through and saying, preparing, and it has a little Asus thing, and I'm telling you, you don't have to touch a damn thing. Now, this is the screen I saw when I very first bought this computer. Central time. This thing is running super cool. Like, it's not hot at all. It never really does get hot. I'm just saying, it's like cold. I am honestly grinning ear to freaking ear right now. You don't even understand. This is insane. This is awesome. And to the person that wants to remain anonymous that sent this to me, thank you so much. This will get put to very good use. I can promise you that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What would be really cool if I wanted to is since I get to choose the drive that boots up first, I could just put the other drive that currently has Windows 7 on it on the second slot and just choose which slot to boot from. I was getting a 5.9 when I very first did this and the hard drive was the only thing slowing me down. The hard drive is the best thing on here. The graphics are the one with the lowest score. Do not show me this because I already have those. Says I need to restart to install some updates. Oh boy, this is gonna take forever. I highly encourage you to check out the description because after I start installing Adobe Premiere Pro and a bunch of programs that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, like Ditto, which is an awesome clipboard manager, I will update the description with updates on how I feel about this drive how fast things are, and my experience with it. This is going to piss me off. I do not want this crap on my computer. <laughs> if you learned something new and this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask you to do. Click the little like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.